Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will explore the easiest way to deploy LLMs on your local computer without GPUs or expensive hardware. We will be using LM Studio, which is a powerful desktop app that allows users to seamlessly deploy LLMs on their local device with little to no technical knowledge. It also provides a wide array of advanced functionalities and customizations and is constantly up to date with the latest advances in the field. Two main features of LM Studio will be our point of focus in this tutorial. First, the model search engine, which is connected to Hugging Face and allows users to download specific files from virtually any Hugging Face model. And second, the ability to deploy local servers mimicking the OpenAI API, which allows for seamless integration with frameworks such as LangChain and Llama Index. Under the hood, LM Studio uses Llama CPP which is a lightweight framework developed in C and C++ to optimize the implementation and inference of large language models, particularly on CPUs. It is based on the powerful GGML tensor library, which defines a binary format for efficient storage and distribution of LLMs. More specifically, LM Studio uses the GGUF format, which is a derivative of GGML, developed to address some of its limitations regarding compatibility and extensibility. You will find additional material in the description to help you dive deeper into all of these concepts. So, in order to use LM Studio, we first need to download the desktop app from the official website. For Windows users, which is our case for this tutorial, make sure your CPU supports the AVX2 extension. A quick tutorial on how to check if you have this particular extension will be linked in the description. Once the download is complete, we open the desktop app and land in this main page. We can immediately go to the search section, which is connected to Hugging Face and search for the model we want to deploy locally. Let's try Google's Gemma 2B. Once we hit go, we immediately get a bunch of results corresponding to our query, which we can sort either alphabetically or by likes or downloads. We can also limit our search to the models we can deploy given our local hardware. LM Studio does this by estimating our RAM capacity and filtering out the models that don't fit our memory constraints. Let's download this instruction-tuned version of the Gemma 2B model. We can see it's in the GGUF format, just like all the models on LM Studio, and is one of the most recent models on Hugging Face. It has also been obliterated. Obliteration is a novel technique used to uncensor LLMs by removing their ability to refuse requests. It can either be done at inference time or by permanently altering its weights and does not require retraining. You can read more on the topic in this article, which will be linked in the description. So once we pick the model we want to download, we get a list of files corresponding to different levels of quantizations of the model, going from 2-bit to half or full precision. Let's choose the 8-bit version, which easily fits into our memory while retaining relatively high precision. Hit the download button and wait for the file to be installed. We can see it validating the integrity of the file and finally confirming that the model was downloaded successfully. Once your model is downloaded, you can go to the AI chat section and load it to memory. This right side panel allows you to adjust various settings depending on the model, such as prompt structure, temperature, and context length. For CPU users, the most important parameter is the number of CPU threads which we set to 8 in order to increase inference speed. Since we don't have a GPU, we set the number of GPU layers to 0 and remove GPU offload. Let's reload the model to apply our new configuration. Great! So we can now interact with the model in the same way we would, for example, with ChatGPT. Let's ask it a simple question, such as, why are plants green? And see how he answers. So again, just like ChatGPT, the model starts streaming tokens as a response to our question. Of course, this is sped up for the sake of the video, but the actual speed of generation we obtain on CPU is fairly reasonable. Once the generation is over, you can check it out at the bottom. It takes 0.65 seconds to generate the first token and then generates about 4.5 tokens per second, which is already pretty good as some of the computing and memory resources are used by our recording software. You can expect from 6 to 8 tokens per second if no other heavy task is being run on your computer. Finally, 
the local server section allows you to deploy your model as a local inference server and interact with its endpoints exactly as you would do with an open AI API. You can simply launch the local server by clicking on Start Server and copy-paste any of the available code snippets to call the different endpoints through curl or Python. You can also do the same thing with embedding models, but that's something we will see in the next video. Just like earlier, we begin by loading the model to memory. We can see it immediately locks the local server with the given model. Again, we select our model configuration, set the number of CPU threads to 8, and the number of GPU layers to 0. Finally, we reload the model to apply our changes, and again, we can see that the local server was immediately updated. Now that we got our local server up and running, we can start interacting with it through Langchain exactly as if it were an open AI model. The first step is indeed to install the Langchain open AI package by running pip install langchain-open AI. Next, we instantiate a chat open AI object using the LM Studio base URL. We get a validation error because the class expects an API key even when it's not needed. We therefore add a random API key to initialize our Langchain object. Next, we build a classic LCEL question answering chain using a prompt template followed by our chat object and an str parser. We will get into more advanced chains for RAG use cases in future videos. Finally, we create a simple function to stream the response from our chain and run it with a simple question such as, why are there different seasons? We can then watch our local model stream the response. Again, this is sped up for the sake of the video, but the speed you can expect with an average CPU is around 6 to 8 tokens per second. And that's it. As always, you will find all relevant material for further reading linked in the description, and this tutorial notebook will be available on our GitHub page, which will also be linked in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you appreciate the content, and see you soon for more AI tutorials.